Hey there, Trevor here from Double Bill Movies. Okay, so I've been tagged in one of these tag videos and the subject of that tag video is what's my favorite genre. So it was Dan from Dan's Movie Cave who tagged me for this. So thanks, Dan. Uh, right, well, my answer is going to be fairly similar to yours, actually, but I do have a definitive answer. Um, so I'm very eclectic in the things that I like and the things that I do as well. So I like all sorts of films, uh, comedies, romance, uh, action, thriller, horror, sci-fi, uh, World War II, or just war, or, you know, anything, basically. But um, I've got a lot of things relating to sci-fi films. Uh, Star Wars is one of my favourite uh, films, and, uh, and the whole sort of Star Wars saga is, is very big um, to me. So that covers a hell of a lot of sci-fi and Star Trek as well. I really like the Star Trek films, um, but in kind of franchises regarding to Star Wars, uh, um, sci-fi, sorry, there it's it kind of it doesn't stop there. But I don't go for things like um, uh, Stargate or, or Farscape or all the other sci-fi series and the things that there were. So um, that kind of puts that in a little bit of a bubble, doesn't it? But um, horror, well, horror, you know, there's so much horror. I'm catching up on so many different films, uh, films from uh, the, the 50s and, and even earlier um, when I get the opportunity to, but mostly films from the 80s and 90s. Uh, not so keen on some of the new ones, although the Terrifier trilogy, um, although I haven't actually seen the third one yet, but the Terrifier films are really starting to, to look like they're gonna be a really good franchise. Um, there seems to be a lot of remakes. Uh, people can't seem to come up with original films anymore, um, apart from the Terrifier ones. Uh, but um, yeah, I suppose you've got your Quiet Place films um, and films like Get Out and Us and that sort of stuff. Um, but yes, it's very, very hard to come up with original films. And then you've got your war films. Uh, war, unfortunately, covers um, centuries of humanity. Uh, there's lots and lots of amazing films out there telling stories uh, about various different wars that have gone on through our time um, but um, as you can see sort of behind me uh, just a little bit over my shoulder um, I've got quite a few uh, things relating to World War II that help educate me in World War II um, I've got lots and lots of books many of which I haven't read yet um, but I equally have lots and lots of films. I probably have just as many World War II films as I do horror films. Um, and as you can see, most of this, that entire <laughs> shelving unit is all horror. Um, and that's not all of my horror. I have horror elsewhere um, in my room. But um, yeah, so I would say with World War II being such a big subject, it's not just about the six years of world conflict that took place, uh, but um, the many years beforehand, essentially things sort of seeds were sown uh, in sort of the early 20s. Um, and so there's films around that, and I like to watch those if I can get them. Also, any series and documentaries about these things as well. Um, and, you know, obviously all the way through the main conflict itself, but even um, the aftermath of World War II, there are films where uh, former Nazis are being hunted still um, and that kind of thing. And a lot of the, the, the big ones were, were found in, um, you know, South America, Argentina and all that sort of area. Um, so there's quite a vast... Um, field to to explore regarding World War II. Um, so I have to say, Dan, to answer your question, <laughs> that um, not just war, I do like other war films, um, you know, Zulu and Apocalypse Now, um, Jarhead was pretty good, uh, and things like that. Um, but to me, World War II um, just has to slightly sit at the top of the pile. Horror would be, would be a very, very close second. And um, 
it's yeah it's, it's sometimes when i'm sitting watching world war ii films if i watch too many at once it does get a bit depressing so you kind of have to stop but um i caught one on the telly the other day called in which we serve basically it's about a ship that's sinking but um what's going on is uh, each crew member that's trying to survive thinks about their family and um how they started in the war uh, and that sort of thing so there's a lot of reminiscing going on it's a beautifully shot film uh, it's black and white and um i think i've got it on disc somewhere but uh, this was the bbc was showing it and it looked spectacular um a sort of film that i would definitely like to see on 4k but um black and white films do look amazing on 4k because it gives you the correct levels of um monochrome and uh good depth of field and all that kind of thing so um yes world war ii uh, as a genre, I mean war is a genre, but specifically World War II for me. So I um, hope you like that answer. I'm sure you were kind of expecting that to be honest, but uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to tag someone. Um, I'm not sure if this person has done any of these tag videos, uh, but will John Clancy be involved? Um, John, let us know what your favourite genre is, please. Uh, I would like to know, and I'm sure many of your viewers would also like to know. Um, so yes, anyway, that's my video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, this was sort of, I don't know if it was started by um, Scott from Scott the Movie Critic, but uh, he was the one that asked Dan and uh, Dan's asked me and he also asked someone else in this video. Uh, so, you know, I'll tell you what, um, I'll also tag Bumper from Bumper's Movie. So there we go. Uh, hopefully you will get two more videos in this little tagline um, and finding out finding out what us YouTubers like as our favourite genres. Anyway, till the next video, take it easy.